Hi, it's me again. If you've seen any of my tutorials on surfacing, you probably heard me mention uh, surface continuity, uh, G0, G1, G2, surfaces being perfectly smooth, etc. So this is a quick explanation video on how to get these perfectly smooth surfaces, how to use the surface tools, and how to inspect the surfaces afterwards. So to start, we have these two planes that are at a right angle to each other. They're, um, they're equal and they need to be connected. To do that, we're going to use the Curves Workbench and the um, Blend Surface tool. For that, we need to select the first edge and first face and second edge, second face, and click the tool. I'm going to change the continuity to zero and I'll explain why a bit later. Okay, so right now we have the two surfaces connected by a straight line. Um, we can use some of the tools that will help us visualize what's going on right here. So the first tool I'm going to use is a comb plot. Select the edges we want to visualize and click on the uh, comb plot tool. As you can see, nothing really happened. We just have this red line on our edge, but that's just because there's no curvature for us to visualize. The second tool I'm going to use is the zebra tool, which kind of almost simulates a reflection and helps us visualize the smoothness of the surface. Right, this is what we have now. A straight line connecting two surfaces or a flat face connecting two surfaces. Now let's get back to our blend surface. These continuity numbers usually go with the letter G in front of them. This is a way of describing the continuity of the surface that goes G0, G1, G2, G3, and so on. So right now we're at G0 continuity, which is a flat face or a, or a straight line connecting the two faces. Let's change that to G1. That's, that's face one and face two, right. Our comp plot now changed. The red line indicates the continuity of the surface, and these green lines, they indicate the rate at which the surface is bending or changing. So right now the red line is completely broken, which means our surface is not continuous. G1 continuity is our basic fillet that we use in part design or part workbench. It's just a simple tangent, so it takes this line, makes it tangent, and connects it to this line and makes it tangent. This usually works for part design and many other areas. It's not very useful for class A surfacing, which is usually used in car design and product design. So let's give G2 a try. G2, G2. Okay, now we see that our comp surface suddenly became rounded, but at this point, it's still at a right angle. So that's still not perfectly continuous. Now, if we change that to G3, we can see that our red line is now bending to match this flat face. And this is where our surface becomes really smooth and really nice. But to go that one step further, we can increase that to G4, which will make our surface completely smooth and continuous. See how that red line slopes off? And the rate at which the surface is changing goes from really small to rather large and it's a smooth transition it's not a hard edge and that is perfectly displayed in our zebra plot see how those lines aren't interrupted by this edge now let's compare that to our usual fillet which i have handy here i'll hide our surfaces and i'll hide that comb this is just a simple fillet on a on an extruded triangle. This is G1 continuity or a simple fillet uh, tangent. 
And this is not ideal for uh, product design, automotive exterior design, or any other exterior class A surfaces. And here's something else that will help us visualize this problem um, a bit better. I've exported these two shapes into Blender. Here's our um, extruded triangle with a fillet, and here's our G4 uh, blend surface. So you can see there's a minimal difference in shape. However, these two shapes are quite different in how they react to reflections. The difference is subtle, but it's definitely there. Notice how the two curves reflect the light differently. You can see a very hard edge where the, uh, the flat face meets the tangent curve. You can see a very smooth reflection where the flat face meets the uh, G4 surface. And this is quite apparent in real life. This is an image taken from 99percentinvisible.org, which is a website I really like. I recommend you visit it. This is a lovely example of products using um, just a regular fillet compared to perfectly smooth, continuous bends. The difference is subtle, but it's definitely there and is definitely noticeable. That's enough rambling from me today. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.